Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you an early morning video sandwiched in between being out of town for seven days and then out of town for four days. But I got up early before driving along on a long road trip and um, wanted to get you this, this footage because the last time my um, early morning video was cut short, as you may know if you've been watching. So anyways, again, here we go. This is the north perimeter, the northeast perimeter of the um, Tesla high volume semi factory, Giga Semi. And first we're gonna go from east to west on a, uh, not, on a, on not a super high zoom between one and three X and then we'll come back at um, up to 9x. When, one of the observations is there's a whole lot of wiring spools, many of them empty. I think wiring in preparation for setting up the um, assembly line is a, a key focus just based on what I've seen which would make sense. You got to have all that complicated wiring in place before you start putting in the actual equipment. So again, we're moving from east to west. Hopefully some of our um, more educated and familiar viewers will comment and talk about it. If you look here, this is a big gathering. I'd say this was a pre-shift, um, you know, pep talk get together. And um, I decided to. Uh, I want. I didn't want to do a lot of zooming. Possibly was a mistake because when I came back, that meeting had been had been adjourned, and they had all gone off to do their their task. A little bit risky flying the drone in low light because there's no more obstacle detection. So I am being somewhat conservative on altitude. Also um, being respectful if there's any uh, workers in the area. This is the area that potentially is going to be the, the paint shop or one of the paint shops. based on that um, Jayco equipment that I think we just went past and, and that we saw was delivered last time. So now we're gonna go back from west to east along the northern perimeter and um, zoom in a little bit when appropriate. By the time this flight ends, um, morning has broken and the sun starts coming up. You can still see in because it was low enough light. Those, I don't know what those are. My first viewing, those and those right there, looks like they might be um, chassis that will roll along the assembly line with a semi frame on on top of it and then build the uh, vehicle around it until such time as it has wheels complete speculation of course trying to glean something from these views stay, as a, you might want to stay tuned again more, possibly evidence of paint shop area right there but um, what I was going to say is that towards the end, we get over to section G, the stamping section, and you might want to stick around for that or fast forward.
And recalling back from when we saw the um, columns being put in, that there were areas with big, beefy columns and other areas with smaller ones. And I will say over by the paint shop, we're over on the north west corner where we're speculating might be a paint shop those that were areas with without beefy columns meaning that they wouldn't have um, wouldn't be able to support bridge cranes or heavy machinery towards the north east is where we started seeing the bigger footings and the bigger columns and bigger um, beams for that matter.
sunlight, the sun is starting to come up. Oh yeah, this was an interesting find. There was a Tesla Semi with a flatbed that pulled in while I was changing batteries and um, I'm not exactly sure what it's there for. It's, um, it is it is good to see it doing work though. I'm, you know, my, my first guess would be maybe they're gonna load those pallets on it and take it to recycling. I would have expected them to use a um, more of a dumpster arrangement like those and fill the, put the pallets in there. But anyway, that was interesting. I think that's the first time I've seen a Tesla Semi at the factory doing work. Here we go. Here is the um, stamping section. And if you, when, when we get a little better look in here, this is the uh, south west corner, the much taller stamping building. And you can see the stamping presses have been installed, a series of them, which we could tell there we go. We could tell that it was going to happen from the um, from the large pits that were dug. What we can't see is this was the larger of the pit, stamping pits, and then behind it was a um, smaller a smaller uh, pit dug for another stamping pit. I was always thinking that these this end the these this end of the building was for the um, sheet metal and potentially the other end of the building is for stamping the frames. To me, this is the most exciting section of this or finding from this drone flight. It was interesting, but um, not exactly, um, for, for my eye at least, not terribly revealing, other than there's a lot of different stuff going on in there. Now we are heading from south to north along the western edge. And when we get a little better look in this door, we can see that they've tore up some concrete and in fact, uh, there's actually a concrete truck in, in that second door. On the right there, you can see uh, there's dirt. So if the stamping, if all the stamped sheet metal parts are there, there's the concrete truck, <coughs> excuse me. Then they, the, uh, to me, they would um, have to flow to the north. And that might inform us a little bit about what the um, assembly line is going to look like. Story County is not as um, forthcoming with the permits as... Um, as Joe Tegmeyer has been able to um, obtain and provide really good um, layouts showing where the uh, body in white is, where the stamping is, where the, where the paint shop is. I have tried. I'm not sure if any of you can tell what's going on in here. A lot of channels. So this doesn't do anything to um, change my anticipated timeline that it's still going to be late first quarter 2026 before this assembly line starts um, producing, the, begins the ramp, you know, very slow pilot production. If anything, it might be more like early second quarter.
an amazing amount of work is involved and still needs to be done. At the end, we're going to just take a look around, watch the uh, look at Legacy Gig in Nevada and this factory and, and in the surrounding area. So I'll leave you with an outro of some music. Thanks again. I always appreciate 